Yo, what is up? How we doing, guys? It's Unruly, and I'm going to talk about the elephant in the room. The, you know, what a lot of people are talking about right now, and that's uh, Concord. And, you know, and yeah, the discourse all over Concord and stuff like that. Um, this is not a review, by the way, because I haven't played the game. But I'm going to tell you what is wrong. <laughs> like, how can you tell me what's wrong with the game if you've never even played it? Well, I'll tell you. It's, 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 it's pretty easy. And I, you know what? And it, 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 um, it's going to sound bad, but and here's the thing. Look, before I go off and I talk about the game, I'm sure there's immensely talented people working on this game that's one thing right to get in the game industry is not easy it's tough you got to work your ass off uh you know you got to be really talented to get in there all right with that said it's the art style <laughs> i just have to say the art style is the huge problem with this game and now it's going to be all over the internet because it's like oh it's you know woke it's this and that and like it's reasoning it's you know and it's like here's the thing this happened years ago guys the same thing that's happening now with this game concord this happened it's it's if you don't remember the past you are bound to repeat it right and you know what what, what this was battleborn battleborn and overwatch but now we have concord and marvel rivals now here's the thing i'm pretty sure the game is fun i'm pretty sure the game is cool right we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it um but if i look at this if i'm a consumer and i look at this i don't want to play this let alone pay $40 for it. Now, if it was free, yeah, you know, it could be fun. And here's, here, like, and okay. And I'm going to talk a lot about other games in this situation and so forth. But this, and I'll show you all by example. But like I said, there was Battleborn and there was Overwatch. Overwatch was gorgeous art style characters that looked fun characters that you wanted to uh wife i mean here's the term it's waifu right it means like you want these characters to and and and, and the reality is you have to make your characters <laughs> that you would want to marry that you would want to have sexual relations with i mean at the end of the day it sells okay i'm sorry People are going to get mad and upset. And that's probably why they're apparently like the other side is saying, oh, it's woke. It's woke because they're not making the women, you know, absolutely sexy. Now, here's the thing. There is a fine line. There is. Here's the thing. You can make a character. You can make a game with the sexiest characters alive. But if it plays like trash. Nobody's going to play it. The only people are going to play it are going to be playing it with one hand. But you can have a game and the game is incredibly sexy but just kind of very boring. I mean, hey, it's happened so many times in the past. Well, to, welcome to the gaming in 2000s, right? There has to be a middle ground. And that's why games like Overwatch and a lot of these, I mean, there's so many successful games that do it. And the thing is, at the end of the day, your characters, this game, like people want to play your game because it looks interesting. Look at this. Hey, there's 7 billion people on Earth, and somewhere, this is someone's favorite character of all time. 7 billion people. Probably, probably out there, someone that loves this character. But look at this. I see this. I don't want to play it. Like, this, it's like, it's just bad design choices, and, I, and there's no easy way to say this, okay? Also here. Okay, but you see this character, she's a tanky character, but there's a way to do it right. And that's Marissa from Street Fighter. 
there's a way to find a balance okay and now this game i've heard is getting solid reviews right some some people might say eh. and i'll be real like i mean maybe the gameplay is fun sure but you gotta sell me on the game you gotta sell me and here's the thing i mean we're looking at this I, I i see this and i'm like ain't no i don't want to play this like none of these characters appeal to me um now here's the thing here is marvel rivals now, I used to play a lot of um, hero shooters. I used to play a ton of Overwatch in my early days. I played a ton of it. Now, let's go to um, Marvel, what is, whatever it's called, right? Marvel Rivals. Look at this. Look at these skins. Look at this art style. This, I, I've, I've been kind of done with the hero shooter, but this game is about to bring me back. This game is like, damn, okay. You know, that's Hulk, you know, we, whatever you see that. Um, I mean, this storm, my God, like this uh, Punisher looks sick, looks awesome. I mean, geez, it's great. I, I see this, like, this is like for a hero shooter, for games like that, your heroes have to be appealing. And, whoa, let's make a hero shooter with Marvel characters, right? And it works. Now, here's, a, here's why it works. Look at this art style. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Look at Storm. She has sex appeal. Not too over the top. Not too over the top. And I think that's how you do it. You can have a game be sexy and not overdo it. And I think this is like the perfect thing. And look, at the end of the day, guys, I'm sorry. People are going to probably call me a pig. You have to make characters you want to fuck. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Comics have been doing it for years. Um, and guess what, though? You could do that with different types of characters. You can do it like, you know, it doesn't mean every character has to be, you know, like a supermodel or whatnot. I mean, we, we have May. Right. We have May. Good thing is, yeah, like she's a bit on the plus size and and, and and the cosplayers love it. It's just at the end of the day, that's what it, it, it sells, right? It, it's video games and gamers are very much like that. And we can't, you know, and, 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 and it's just going to be a shouting match between both sides, right? Or like, bro, video game, you know, w you know, characters are not objects. And like, you know, and it's just like comics have been doing it. They still do it. Movies. Things like this are an escape. Okay. If I wanted to look at ugly and mediocre, I'd look in a mirror. Okay. Uh, Things like this have to be an escape, okay? Um, so I, I, you know, and it, it does look cringe when, like, you see some of the guys like, oh, there's, you know, like, they complain too hard. I'm like, there's a balance between, and it's up to the game company to find it. But, like, I, you know, like, this is just, like, a hero shooter. These Now, when I saw the trailer for this game, I mean, look, she looks like the girl. You ever seen that that meme with like goosebumps and the girl's like, sorry, I don't have an editor, so I'm not going to edit that in. <laughs> I'm a budget YouTuber, OK, <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about. And. Like this, this one's cute. This is a cute character. And then there's this. And remember what I talked about? Battleborn. Battleborn. Where is Battleborn? It probably could have been better than Overwatch, right? But who's playing it? Who would want to see like, oh, these two games come out at the same time? Right? And it's like Battleborn's almost the same thing.
And at the end of the day, just got to be characters that you want to get behind. That's why I like fighting games so much. Before hero shooters, there were fighting games and there were heroes, right? And in fighting games, you really got behind characters. And especially that's why I gravitated towards Mortal Kombat. In Mortal Kombat, I could see like in Valorant. Look at the characters in Valorant. Look how cool they look. Granted, this is art, whatever. But even in game, they look cool. And here, they're like, God dang, this is awesome. These are heroes. They look great. There are some sex appeal. They're not overly sexualized, but there is sex appeal. They're all attractive characters. And I think in games, look, I'm a champion for diversity, okay? You know me. But there, at some point, you got to... There's got to be a chill point. And what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? No diversity. It's like, no, you got to have your characters look gorgeous. Okay. You got to have them look good. All right. You can't be like, oh, you know what? Hey, we're diversity. Our characters look like, uh, you know, everyday people you see on the street because. Okay. That, that's kind of got to go away because games are a fantasy. Movies are a fantasy. Comics are a fantasy. And sometimes you just, you just got to let that be. But I'm still for diversity. I'd still like to see lots of people of different colors and ethnicities and, you know, shapes and stuff like that. But here's at the end of the day, you got to put some icing on the cupcake is what I'm saying. All right. That's what I'm saying. You got to. And here's another example. Rumbleverse. Fantastic. Fun game, extremely fun game, incredibly fun, well thought out, a nice change to the Battle Royale format. The art style. I, you know, and I know people have worked on this game and I'm sorry, I apologize, but the art style is terrible. It is, I, mean, I don't mean it's terrible. It's just not visually appealing. It's not something that I want to spend money on. And I think at the end of the day, for these hero shooters, you got to make them. Because look, this the, 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 the game looks like this guy. Like every character almost ends up looking like this. Now, at the end of the day, the game was great gameplay. And there's some people, diehard fans to this day that would play it. But at the end of the day, gameplay can only get you so far. You have to get people in the door. You have to have your game look good and play good, right? Because if this is the game and people are just kind of looking at it from afar and you have battle passes and you're like, the most of the people that are playing the game are hardcore and they don't care about the costumes. They just love the gameplay. Look at Valorant. Look at these characters. They, they look awesome. Right. And, and then we're here and the game is $40. So that's, that's got, it's like, you know, it, it, it's the art style. It's yeah. It, it, it's, it's not doing anyone any favors to be honest. Right. It's just, That's a, it's a major problem. This is like a generic character. And here's the thing. When I first saw the trailer, I thought it would, I thought the game looked cool because, Hey, it could have been something like a cool single player, like for a single player game and fun, unique characters. I, this, this could work, but it's not, absolutely cannot work for a hero shooter, especially one that you want to be like a games of service and all this kind of stuff. It absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I, you could have some of the best gameplay in the world. It could be the most fun. There's games like that. Marvel versus Capcom Infinite. But I'm just saying, you can have the most fun gameplay. But at the end of the day, you got to get people in the door. That's why Smash is one of the most successful like fighting games of all time. It's because it's these beloved characters. And people like... So if you have a game that's... I mean, look at... What is that? Um, I mean, this game looks great. Um, 
I don't know, what was that anime game that came out that just people are just dropping tons of money? I, I remembered it. I'm blanking out right now. Um, you know that. Yeah, I mean, this looks freaking godlike. It's and at the end of the day, guys, you got to make your games look gorgeous. You got to you got to have an art style that's appealing. You got to have characters that are uh, Genshin Impact. No chat. I remember that on my own. Genshin Impact, right? Genshin Impact is a huge success. My God. And I'm, I'm looking at the characters. This is what I'm looking at. Uh, darkness. Like, look at this. It looks, the art style is so sick. Uh, you know. Like, I'm about to play this game. I, I actually want to play this game because I like the skins. I love the design. And it's kind of selling. It's uh, and here we go. We go look to Spider Man. And look at this. I'm like, God damn! I want to play this. I want to have this skin. I. It's a lot of fun. I mean, not a lot of fun. I don't know if it's fun. Uh, I mean, you see this art style. You see these, and it this it looks like I see this, and I'm like, damn. Okay. I want to play now. If the game is equally as it is about the same as Overwatch, well, guess what? I kind of like this a little bit more. I like these characters, I like these skins. Then, yeah, I mean, here's the thing: like hero shooters, are they really being changed that much? Right? Like are the fighting game. And here's the thing: I'm, I'm, you know, I, I play hero shooters. I mean, I Team Fortress Two back back in the day, and then some Overwatch. But then I kind of like really fell out but like maybe I'm, I'm maybe i'm on the outside but like how much different what difference does this bring to let's say overwatch 2 is there something in this game just like god damn man this you know and i come from fighting games and fighting games each fighting game is almost very brings something new and is totally different right like tekken from marvel versus capcom uh, Street Fighter from Mortal Kombat. It's basically almost the same thing, but they're kind of different and they do things different and they have. And I'm like, does the hero shooter genre really change things up like fighting games does? Like, now granted, like, there's nothing really big in, like in fighting games that's shooken up, but like, they're all different. Where I'm like, I like playing this game. I love playing Tekken. I love playing MKX. I love playing, you know, Marvel vs. Capcom. And because they're all like a little bit different, but like, you know, hero shooters, people, are these games that completely different where you're like, wow. And I know Valorant is a bit, Valorant's kind of like Counter-Strike meets Overwatch, right? Um, I, you know, we have something like um, 2XKO, but it's kind of really changing the game. It's bringing two players at the same time, or you can do 2v1, 2v2s, stuff like that. I think that's awesome. But at the end of the day, you got to make your game gorgeous. And now here's the thing, too. We're going to go back and we're going to talk about also not just hero shooters. And I talked this about literally yesterday on my stream. There was a difference between Marvel Rivals and the Avengers game that came out recently or, you know, not too long ago. The Avengers game suffered well and i really said the reason it suffered is well because they didn't have the likenesses of the characters right the game was ultra realistic it looked like you're watching the movies but it had none of the likenesses of robert downey and all these famous actors that made these characters but it, you know it's funny in this game it doesn't matter you know why because it's stylized it's a great style it's a comic book slash anime style that blends well so you don't care hey how come this mag uh, how come this iron man doesn't look like robert downey jr how come this spider-man doesn't look like toby Maguire or whoever it's because it's got its own unique style. It's comic booky, anime, so that doesn't matter. And I think in a game like that, also oh, was a live service. They tried to live service it up. Um, I, I, you know, I for future times, I think they should. Like, and I said it before, Marvel should those million dollar contracts. They should say, okay. Um, you're going to be in the movie and you're going to give us your likeness for video games, especially if it's like ultra realistic. If it's ultra realistic 
and you have these characters that don't look like the characters from the movies, it just throws you off. And also, live service. Live service, you got to stop. You got to stop. I, I, I don't know what, what's going on in the gaming industry where having a game that sells, you know, 10 million copies isn't good enough. I mean, take a look at something, right? Cancel alert. Um, Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts Legacy, I think at the end of the day, sold 22 million copies. That is enormous. That's a ginormous win. And that's just a single player game. No life service. Why can't that be a victory? Why can't we just champion amazing single player games? Right? I'm sure Elden Ring is sold like crazy in a show like Wukong. I mean, is sold fantastic. It's just like game companies. You gotta stop chasing the dragon or the rainbow or the waterfall. I I I you know. I get it. I guess live service money, live service prints infinite amounts of money without having to do, um, you know, make a game every so often. Like, I guess they're chasing the dream, but they're just like, you know what? You got to stop that. Like that not everything can be a live service. And if you want to do it, well, you got to do it right. And that's um, at the end of the day. That's sex appeal. That's art style. But not only that, your gameplay's got to be tight. So you got to have everything. You got to have everything because at the end of the day, if you have sex appeal, if you have characters that people want to marry, and it's okay to have that, it's okay because why? Because it's, it's, it's a tale as old as time. People go to comic book conventions and cosplay characters, and it's okay. Women love it too. They love cosplaying sexy characters that they, you know, they, they follow on comic books, anime, uh, video games. It's okay to be sexy. It's okay because... Yeah, people see these characters and they're like, wow, they're heroes and they people want to cosplay them. And um and at and here. Oh. Okay. Like and we're going back to Concord. Uh I mean this 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 guy would be great for a, a single player, you know party game like not party game like you know something like guardians of the galaxy or something like that and be like cool right i i, I think when i saw that i'm like hey it could be a fun interesting game but my god man i'm like is, is this is like sh she's kind of cute but it's it's rough it's honestly rough like, all right, nobody, like, no big game company is going to watch this video, right? And no one's going to take my advice, but game companies, you want to chase the live service dragon or whatever it may be. I would say stop because, like, with, um, with Justice League, it's just like, and, and you know, and it, it, it's like this, uh, you know, my train of thought is everywhere. It's like a lot of game companies that want to make the next big esports, and they're like, hey, make us a new esports game, make us an esports game, make us an esports thing. You can't, okay? That's like forcing something that's just not quite there. It's, you can't. Esports will create itself. It will create itself because the game is so fun. It is so awesome and people champion it. You can't just make a game and like, oh, we're the esports game and we have all this stuff. And I'm like, your game has to be fun. Your game has to be something that people want to play. And that'll happen. And I, I th the same thing goes for live service.
And that's not it. Like, if you want that live service, good luck. I mean, here, oh, you know what? Here's it. Here, here it is. It is a gamble, like in Las Vegas. It's a gamble if you get it. And it, yeah, it's like a craps game. And you're putting all this money out there and you can crap out. And then who gets in trouble? Every talented person that wor worked on the game. And it's, it really sucks. Okay. Because there's so many talented people in the gaming industry, um, you know, artists, designers, uh, you know, people, rig, lighting people, everybody that works in the game that helps create a game is at danger because sometimes they just try to chase it and it's just like, you know, like Suicide Squad. Like that game could have been a, 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 an amazing, cool single player or you know single player or hey even multiplayer experience to play with your friends and it could have kicked ass but they made it a live service game now they're chasing like this game like and if you're gonna do it you gotta go like engine impact you gotta make characters that people want to sleep with okay there's no if ands or buts there's no like well you know it's 2024 and games don't have to be like that I'm, it's still got to be like that. You got to have characters that people see and they're like, God damn, this is amazing. And like, I want to do art of this. Like, and you have people doing fan art. You have people like, that's what you got to do. But this, this ain't it. Like Battleborn and all these other games that have tried. And you know what they're going to say? Like, here's what the other people are going to say. It's woke because they are against sexuality and they want to make people and they want to make a diverse, di, you know, it's diversity. So they want to make characters look normal and stuff like that. And that's why they're going to say it's like woke. And I'm just going to say like, it's just, it's just poor design for characters for a free to play game and a hero shooter. They have to look like heroes. You can't have a hero shooter where it's just like, hey, this is the, you know, my mechanic. And uh, this is the lady that, um, you know, does my daughter's hair or something like, you know, I, I, it just, they gotta look like heroes. And the same thing goes for the other way around, okay? You can't just have a game that's just like hyper sexualized and super sex and it's like, it's a fit. it's a balance it's a balance right you can have a game with the sexiest characters and the skimpiest outfits but terrible gameplay so yeah but uh, other than that i don't know has anybody played it does anybody like it let me know what you guys think about it like here's the thing like i can't review the game because i haven't played it but i don't really want to play it i barely want to play Marvel Rivals, but I, the more I see of it, the more I actually want to play it. The more I see of this game, the more it's just like, now nah, I'm good. Especially in a hero shooter, a hero shooter, you gotta capture somebody. You gotta, they gotta see the game. They gotta be like, God damn, I want to play that. I like that character. That character, damn, right. <laughs> But yeah, that's my thoughts. I don't know. I mean, we'll see how this video does and what uh, you know people say. But um, you know, shout outs to everybody in the game industry. You know, I know you guys are hardworking, um, and, I, and I'm sorry if you know if your game comes out and you know it just depends. A lot of times they want to chase the dragon, but other than that, I'm sure the game is fun. I'm sure the game is good, but. <laughs> You got to make characters that you want to sleep with at the end of the day. And it's not a bad thing. You know, it's, it's been like that forever. <laughs>